Oh, uh, brothers in Christ, uh, I wanted to talk about this underrated weapon that believers can use against their, you know, fight it against Satan. We know all the all the, the weapons, the uh, armor of God, and the word of God, you know, but this uh, weapon is in the Bible, but it's not necessarily dude as a weapon, it's dude as a trait, right? And this is confidence, right? Now, what's the difference between being confident and cocky? You know what I'm saying? And that will be intent, you know what I'm saying? The intent you have when you're cocky, you know what I'm saying? Say this, I play basketball, right? I ain't come up to court cocky, I can come to court confident. When I'm cocky, I think I'm better than anybody, I'm prideful in that way. But when I'm confident, it has a lot to do with my intent. I'm confident that I'm gonna make the shot even though I'm even if I miss the shot. I'm confident that I'm gonna be successful in doing the move or doing the dribble that I'm gonna do. I'm confident I have the intent that it's going to work, that it's going to happen. And the same thing with you guys. When you're facing, you know, I, I was talking about how when apply life lessons that I learned to the word of God and a lot of the good traits and the good things I found, just like Paul teach to my walk with God. And confidence is key. You know what I'm saying? So really a big problem what people struggle with, especially believers, is that confidence, that confidence that hey, you know, say for instance I'm walking down the street, I'm scared to minister, that confidence say, hey, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna go minister to this person, even though you know what I'm saying confidence can in some way kind of make you feel like that you know what i'm saying that would have person you know what i'm saying like me personally I, i'm an introvert i don't really like talking to people but when i got that confidence of god and confidence that god's gonna say that soul you know what i'm saying the work gets done and the same with y'all same thing with y'all we have that confidence when you have that intent that it's going to work that it's going to happen a lot of time you'll come out victorious like my mom used to teach me she said Nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying, if you think something's going to happen, it's going to happen. But also nine times out of ten, if you think something's not going to happen, what what you think is <laughs> not going to happen. So it's the same thing when I walk with God. You know what I'm saying, if I don't think, you know what I'm saying, if I don't think that God is going to do something that He's not. But if you do think it, then guess what? It's going to happen. So please believe it. Please have the intent that's going to happen, even if it doesn't happen. Have the intent that you're going to win your battles, even if you don't win them. Because though, believe it or not, that intent is shifting you towards future battles. So please be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.